Hello, welcome back to our channel. This week we're going to talk about hab checks and find out if this is the most expensive sticker in the world. So in this week's video, we're going to talk about hab checks. What is a hab check, you may ask, if you don't know much about camper vans or motorhomes. Hab check is short for a habitation check. And it's an annual check that is done to your vehicle uh, every year, annually. Um, and it's checking all the things on the van or motorhome that are not related to the, the vehicle bit. So it's like safety check for your gas, for your electric. I'll go through exactly what they're checking it at the end. Um, but that's required every year. And if you choose an approved workshop, you get this sticker once you've had it done. So lots of different opinions on hab checks. Some people love them, some people hate them, some people don't want to pay for them, some people do it themselves, some people use mobile technicians. Um, and so we're just going to talk through the different options really to this week and explain it if there's people who are new to camper vaning. So because our van is relatively new, we've decided to keep up with um, approved workshop uh, hab checks uh, for a number of reasons. So you, yes, you pay a bit more for it, um, but you pay a bit more for that peace of mind that you've got a, a proper factory trained technician looking after your van and checking it for any, any defects or any faults or anything. So they go through a number of things which I'll share with you in one second. But also, um, we require it for our warranty. Auto Trail van, uh, our van comes with five year warranty from Auto Trail. So three years old, so it requires a hab check to be completed by an approved workshop. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be Auto Trail, I understand from other, other comments, as long as it's an approved um, workshop that uh, is able to do that, that check on it. But we decided to stick with Auto Trail because obviously their technicians have gone through all the training and they, uh, they know about the, more about the vehicle than anybody else. So we stuck with Auto Trail. So, what does the Hab Check cover? Well, nice and straightforward, it's a full tick list they go through, like a very comprehensive sort of check and inspection. Um, they check your battery, which is that one I've got there, and a piece of paper separately. Um, they go through the underbody, they check the electrical system, they check the gas system, the water system, the bodywork, ventilation, and fire and safety as well. So they check your smoke detector, all the other things, fire extinguisher, etc. And inside, um, they give you work that was required on the vehicle. Um, we had a... Um, one spotlight repla re repaired, replaced on our van at the back. One of the, the reading lights um, went on the last trip. So they picked that up on the hab check and they replaced it for us under warranty, which is fantastic. Another reason why we stick with the uh, with approved workshop, an auto trail approved workshop. They check things like the windows, the locks, um, if the gas works, etc. Um, and then at the end, this is the all important one for a lot of people who have, con have concerns with motorhomes and uh, camper vans. They do a damp report. So they check your vehicle for damp, obviously, which is quite concerning if you've got damp in a motorhome or camper van. Camper vans are less susceptible to damp just because they're a sealed van unit, pretty much. Ours is slightly different because it's got the pop top. But again, this year, no readings to record, which is fantastic, which means it's below the level to even pick anything up. So again, that's the other reason why we have that done. The other reason, obviously, having it done by an approved workshop, it will hopefully help for the resale value of the vehicle when we come to, come to change it. So obviously, you can keep all these records and keep proof. So is it worth sticking with a workshop or doing it yourself or a mobile technician? Well, I'm okay. I can do most DIY things around, around the home and the van. I'm, I'm relatively competent, um, but I don't know a great deal about gas and electricity. And I certainly don't know enough to be able to certify that my van is safe. I'm not qualified or passed any tests or anything like that. So for me, and certainly for Caroline, <laughs> peace of mind is really important. So I'm making sure that the van is checked by a properly qualified technician. And that's one of the reasons why we use an approved workshop. There's people that come out and do it on your drive, mobile technicians, and I think that's probably slightly cheaper. But again, you don't know if they're, they're trained, they're factory trained, or technicians are trained in terms of your vehicle. So for us, it makes sense to stick with an auto trail workshop uh, and make sure we've got the technicians working on our vehicle. The other thing as well, as part of that, you get uh, your service box stamps too, which obviously is great. So now we've got three stamps in the book to show that the vehicle's been looked after well as well by us. And the final thing that you get is this sticker which is possibly the most expensive sticker I've ever bought, but it's great because I've got a collection of them inside the van and shown it every year, which I'll take and show you to you now. So you can see our stickers are kept on the van door. Most important, another sticker to show we've had this service done again, which I will stick. Just there, 2022. Uh, slightly squint, sorry about that. So what does a hab check cost? 
So they tend to range, um, depending if you do it yourself, if you're qualified, if you've got a mobile technician that comes out, if you take it into a workshop. Workshop prices we've seen range from sort of between two to five hundred pounds in that sort of ballpark. It depends on the type of van you've got and where you take it to, obviously, as well. And the brand, it seems to vary with the brand. Some brand, brands are more expensive than others. Um, so if you're looking to buy a camp van or a motorhome, just fact that in as well. You need a hab check every year, so every year on a hab check. Um, and obviously that's on top of the vehicle servicing as well. We did need to service this year in our van because it was serviced last year and it's got a two year service interval on it. Um, but this year it's due its MOT as well. So MOT, hab check and service. Just factor those costs in as well when you're buying. So thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful. Um, if you're new to camp van or motorhomes, hope you've learned something about hab checks. If not, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, next week we will be holding a review on our van. Um, it's the NEC next week and we won't be going this this year. Uh, we've got something on, we can't go. Um, so instead we're going to do a review on our van, an update as it's three years old. So the Autotrail Adventure at three years old, how's it fared up? And we'll also share with you the results of the MOT test as well. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you, both of us, in next week's video. Bye.